Erev Tov, I'm Stephen ben -Nut, and you are watching Israeli News Live. A couple of very interesting articles that have came out today in TASS, uh, the Russian news agency, and I, I wanted to bring these up to you because it just shows how obvious and how blatant things are getting in light of war, uh, expected war in the very near future there. And uh, something I want to, I'll be bringing up to you in the very near future there, I was looking at a 2,000 year old prophecy that actually speaks about this very thing here, how that uh, there would be a push to take lands as much as possible. And of course the finger was pointed directly at Rome in doing so, and uh, the way they do that is by NATO, by the US led NATO forces. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but let me just share this with you here. The article here states, on May 5th, Russian Security Council has taken a decision to adjust, adjust, excuse me, adjust the national security strategy till 2020. Uh, in the Doctrine of Russian Information Security, Russia Security Council Secretary Nikolai uh, Part Partushev said in a featured article, uh, to be published in Wednesday's issue of the uh, Krasnaya uh, Zevdav newspaper. Uh, first of all, it was necessitated by new emerging military threats. Uh, he wrote, their signs are seen in the developments of the Arab Spring, in Syria, and in Iraq, in the situation in and around Ukraine. Of course, I, I thought it was interesting that he noted the Arab Spring. Um, and then he brings up in and around Ukraine, of course, not to mention Syria and Iraq. It, 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 what it is, is Russia is noticing how the, the United States is involved in destabilizing regions around the world. Now, of course, we would argue that Iraq was justified because, one, the Iraqis had invaded Kuwait, which was an ally of the U.S. They needed to be liberated. I agree with that myself. Uh, but then, of course, then President Bush decided that uh, they threatened his father. He would go in there and just wipe them out anyway. It seemed more that there was an interest in oil as well as a military presence in that region, which the United States still has one of the largest bases in the world in Iraq. Um, but anyway, they noted that pursuing... Uh, he also noted... He said he noted that pursuing their own interests... Uh, Leading powers were using indirect actions, relying on popular protest, radical and extremist organizations, which the U.S. does that, private military companies. The United States and NATO are growing more and more aggressive in respect of Russia that's true as well. They are building up their offensive potential in the direct proximity to our borders, very true as well, and are actively deploying a global missile defense system, he wrote. Now, of course, we know the U.S. has talked about this for a number of years, that uh, bringing in a missile defense system to help protect the former Soviet uh, states there. And that's nothing really new there, but it is clear that the U.S. is also building up defenses, not for just a defense, but as they're saying here, as an offensive. And uh, so it is, it is a concern. Russia has a concern. Of course, um, the whole Eastern European uh, Union here, uh, people that, that we have actually met and talked to while being in Europe, uh, have stated the same concern. As much as they love America and they want freedoms like America, they're also concerned about the U.S pushing Russia to a place where Russia will again retaliate and of course they would be the ones being retaliated on and not the United States necessarily. Of course I do think that that's going to be a, a it's going to be something that will happen nonetheless. Uh, that's I, when I say that they're concerned that, that Russia would retaliate against Eastern uh, European Union states that's the people's thinking there, and they think that it won't be the U.S. they would retaliate on. However, I believe that this is one of the reasons why Russia is building up this huge um, uh, force in the Arctic Circle there for possibly going against Russia coming through, uh, maybe even through uh, Alaska, building a way coming down to invade the United States. 
It's, it's hard to say. There's so many scenarios that could happen. And of course, Russia has done the same thing. Because of the situation in Ukraine, Russia as well did drills all across their entire nation, showing that they have strength as well. Let me read more of this article to you, though. These reasons necessitated amendments to Russia's military doctrine to outline key tasks of the armed forces. Uh, the development of defense sector and possible steps to prevent armed conflicts. Russia's military doctrine was amended in late 2014, uh, Putshev recalled. It updated additions, pays more attention to the domestic issue information. Confrontation is specified some provisions of the current military doctrine. At the same time, it has preserved its defensive nature and reiterated Russia's pledge to use for the protection of its national interests military methods only when all other non-force methods are exhausted. Uh, it's very concerning nonetheless. And, and I say concerning even as an American, I'm concerned because the last thing you want to see is the world plummet into a world war, especially over this issue with Ukraine. So why isn't the United States and NATO and their allies more concerned about making the Minsk agreements work and divide the country, let the Eastern uh, Ukrainians who are Russian be their own people. Why is it that uh, it, it looked like in the Minsk agreement there was going to be an autonomy, but suddenly NATO and their allies, along with uh, the Western Ukrainians, are saying, no, there's not going to be an end to war until we get everything, and we're going to take Crimea back as well. You know, Poroshenko is very brave in making such bold assertions, especially in light of the fact that he's got Russia on his doorsteps. And does he think that the United States can truly protect him from Russia? If they keep being pushed, Russia is definitely going to start laying some serious artillery uh, back against uh, whatever aggression may be there. Um, anyway, Russia's defense minister, NATO, uh, drills in Eastern Europe, Arctic aimed against Russia. Now, this is according to the Russian defense minister in another article. Uh, he said on, uh, this was actually on April the 16th, but he says, exercises in the Arctic and Eastern Europe are aimed against Russia. Russian Defense Minister Sergei, uh, Sergei uh, Soyku, Sogoy said on the fourth Moscow International Security Conference on Thursday, uh, he said, NATO countries are seeking to seize a geopolitical space by building uh, military potential in Eastern Europe and approaching Russia's borders. Uh, he said the geographical concentration of their drills only at the alliance's eastern flank and in the Arctic region point to the anti-Russian orientation. Uh, Soigu said uh, the minister also noted that NATO's non-nuclear member countries participated in the drill simulating the use of U.S. nuclear weapons. Uh, which violates the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. Uh, NATO's non-nuclear countries participated in the drills simulating the, U the use of U.S. tactical nuclear weapons deployed in a number of European countries, he said. Um, it is important to note such violations of the spirit and letter of the Non-Proliferation Treaty ahead of the 2015 review conference scheduled to start on April the 27th, as uh, Soigo noted. The defense minister also reminded how unhindered striving for military dominance resulted in a nuclear bombardment of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It is an open question what consequences such passion in using nuclear weapons could have had for Europe and the American army received it earlier, the defense minister noted. Uh, commenting on the implementation of the American missile defense architecture, Soigo said it poses a threat to the strategic stability. Um, he said our forecast of the U.S. global missile system uh, development voiced at 2012 Moscow conference are coming true. Uh, we confirm that an implementation of the American missile defense architecture carries a threat to, to strategic, strategic stability. Uh, now, and, and of course, there again, all this talk of nuclear uh, weapons, nuclear war, this is very serious, very serious situation indeed. And it's something that uh, we will continue to watch, and uh, especially in light of just global instability everywhere. And um, 
it's just really bad, really bad. And so we, we just ask you to be in prayer for people that God will save as many as he can in this closing hour of our history of the world. And that, um, you know, because we are certainly in troubling times. As Yeshua put, pointed out as well, that these would be the beginning of sorrows. So we're about to see some very bad things escalating as we're watching even now. And of course, May is the month that the United States says that Russia is going to, to invade Ukraine. And of course, Russia is saying that this is the month that the United States uh, backing the, the Western Ukrainians are going to take an attack and try to take uh, East Ukraine away from the uh, self-proclaimed uh, Donetsk region there, the, the private uh, Russian people there. And so we're, and we are clearly already seeing the aggression coming from Western Ukraine against the Eastern Ukrainians already bombing with advanced technology that they did not have before. So it is obvious that that has already begun and it's not Russia uh, escalating this violence here. This here is the Western Ukrainians with new, newly equipped American military hardware and lethal weapons to be able to do just that. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.